Sultan Edo Zoo TV Channel 24, isang komersyal na istasyon ng telebisyon na pagmamayari at pinamamahalaan ng Eternal World Television Network, sa ilalim ng numero ng permit na minus 1,358 Bahamian Dollars minus 2,019, nagpapatakbo hanggang ikatatlumput isa ng Desyembre taong 2021, nagpapatakbo ng may lakas na 60 kilowatts. Ang maayos na lisensya ng National Telecommunications Commission ay matatagpuan sa San Roque, Antipolo City, Rizal. Ito ang Uten Channel 24 na ay nakasign on na. Ang susunod na programa ay Rated PG. Patnubay at gabay ng magulang ay kailangan sa mga batang manunood. I'm Brian Patrick. Tonight on EWTN News Nightly, reaction from the spin room after candidates clash in the first presidential debate. And 15 years after 9-11, top security chiefs testify on Capitol Hill saying homegrown attacks are as much a threat as those directed by known terrorists. Watch tonight starting at 6 Eastern on EWTN. Buckle your seatbelts for a crash course in the Saints. Coming up next on EWTN. In 1957, a newly ordained American priest traveled to post-war Korea with the modest ambition of living a life of poverty while serving the poor. When you're confronted with a, a child who's a sick and tubercular, who's homeless, uh, you can't be indifferent. Venerable Father Al Schwartz and the Sisters of Mary, which he founded, began caring for thousands of impoverished children. This ministry would become the World Villages for Children, a network of schools and hospitals worldwide. See his story on an EWTN event, Wednesday, March 13th. First, at 8 p.m. Eastern, World Villages treasurer Sister Margie Chong and benefactors Gloria and Tom Sullivan join Father Mitch Pacwa on EWTN Live at 8 p.m. Eastern to talk about their work with Father Al. Then at 10 p.m. Eastern, don't miss the premiere of the new EWTN original documentary, The Unfinished Symphony. Witness the great challenges Father Al Schwartz overcame to love Christ and the poor, despite suffering from ALS disease, and see firsthand his legacy that continues to this day. It all starts Wednesday, March 13th at 8 p.m. Eastern on EWTN. Next time on EWTM Pro-Life Weekly, what's at stake with the upcoming abortion referendum vote in Ireland? We speak with an Irish Catholic pro-life activist for perspective. And top model turned Catholic speaker Leah Darrow shares why respecting the body is key in creating a culture of life here on EWTN. I'm Raymond Arroyo. Some U.S. Catholics marched in Washington in support of the DACA Dreamers this week. We'll debate immigration policy. And what's the condition of the Christian community in the Middle East? Coptic Orthodox Archbishop Angelos is here with an update. That's the world over, only on AWTN. Come in. Father, may I talk to you? Of course. Sit down, my son. I'm not sure what's going on here, Father, but I see EWTN everywhere I go. I see EWTN on cable. I go to a friend's house, he's got it on satellite. Then I get in my car, I hear it on the radio. I go home, it's on my computer. Online, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, my iPod. I... Don't misunderstand me. I love EWTN, but it's like it's everywhere. What should I do? What should you do? You should tell everyone. EWTN is everywhere. It's even on my phone. Isn't it great? Yeah. Thanks, Father. I will tell everyone. Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs>